nearly finished now. What I wanted to show you is how I made this bulbous area a little more believable. Keep my round, round, just feeling your way along. Now this needs to be all the way up here, but only lightly. Now we need to darken it a little more, so I've got the next colour, which is 168, and concentrating now on the darker areas. This is basically okay, I don't want to make that much darker than that, but I do want to make the bottom and the shadow a little more obvious. Let's just turn this around a little bit so I can reach it. And with all these colours going on, you've got to watch it. Uh, you don't, in fact, over apply the colours because if you do, you'll end up by smoothing the paper off and creating a shine on it. And you've got to be pretty careful. You could usually get telltale signs. You, you get a hardness of the paper, you feel it underneath the yellow. Watch it now then. Now just there, I'm using the side of the pencil rather than the point now because I just want to, to minimise the uh, amount of pressure that I'm putting on. But you can see the effect that I'm getting. But by making it wider, you don't get the pressure of the pastel on. On the other hand, here I, I do want it because we're looking at detail. So I go around in these areas, you can see it's quite a quite a different sound. We've got, we've got a lot of dark colours going on here, but you can see the area in the middle that shows the light pin line running through, and we can. Add more colour onto that if we need to. Now even if I'm pressed really hard, I wouldn't get that any darker. So you know that if you want it darker, which I do, you can have to work on another pencil, which will be 174. But once again, there's a limitation as to how dark that's going to get. And that's probably as dark as you can get, even if you press harder, it wouldn't go any darker than that. So you've then got to rely on a darker colour, which will invariably be the black. Same thing around here. I'm doing this area first because it just suits me with the angle that I'm working on. And once again, I want that to be just a little darker, so using the side of the point of the pencil, create that. Good, it's looking good now. You can see that quite a difference already. When are you going to blend it, Colin, with your colour shaper? Well, I'm going to do that soon, but not yet. Now it's got to be a bit darker in there. So, no, it doesn't fade out quite so far now. Now you can see it looks, it looks good, doesn't it? Just in here where we want it to be just darker under the rim. I can feel just here, I can feel that that's beginning to create a bit of a problem, so I've got to be careful. It's not too bad. I've got 
Here we go. To create the effect of that. That's what we do. Well, now it's the time to think about landing it. So, start at the top. And now, what we want to try to do is to blend it, creating the same design as we, we did with the pencils when we first put them on. In other words, follow the shape of the vase jug using the same strokes. You see that? I won't bother around there because you know, once you've seen it here, you've really got a good idea of how this is all going to work out. And there's more, a lot more colour going on here, but this, this really is the, you see, now, yeah, now that was excellent, wasn't it? You can see that. Well, I used the darker colour in there. Yes, I was going to say, the, there's still a lot more colour to go on here. By no means is that finished. And I'm also be putting my fingers on there a little later on. But I think you've got... You missed that bit at the bottom. Sorry about that, but I got carried away. This is what I was doing. Right. Good. Looking good. All we need now is to think about how we're going to change it, how we're going to add the colours like um, grey, uh, ochre, a little bit of this colour going in. So the way to do that, I'll, I'll just finish this off first and I'll, I'll come back to me and we'll use those other colours, work those other colours in.